What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Will back with another video. Now, today, 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 we're going to discuss and be bringing up um, and talking about this Cleveland Browns defensive tackle room and this, um, you know, defensive line in general. Make sure y'all guys hit that like and subscribe button. We're doing a thousand K giveaway. We're giving away a Browns ticket. Um, long story short, let's get into this video. Oh, and all we got to do to enter the getaway, just comment dogs. Um, on any video, follow on social media, uh, follow me on my socials. Anyways, though, so Shelby Harris has been a name that was been brought up. Um, I've been a little late to the news feed, but Shelby Harris was a name that was brought up. And after seeing the preseason game, I just wanted to discuss and bring up the idea of bringing in a guy like Shelby Harris and what that would mean and what that what that could do and benefit for this Cleveland Browns unit. Now, just to give you guys. Um, a picture on Shelby Harris. He's been in the year for league about eight years. Uh, got drafted in 2014, 2022. <clears throat> he had some of his best years in 2018, 2019. He had really high PFF grades up into the 90s. Um, I think he had an off 2021. And 2022, he had a solid 70 grade. So he's just a good all around, a good defensive tackle. Now he's only 30, he looks like he's about to be 32. Um, about to be 32 years of age. So he might got two years into him. He might be like a two-year um, duct tape, not duct tape, but almost like a duct tape two-year <clears throat> solution to the defensive tackle room. Um, now, I would go ahead and sign him and bring him in um, just as a security blanket, just so we got some more depth out there. Um, just looking at the defensive tackle room and how they performed in that preseason game, uh, Jordan Elliott doesn't still look good. <laughs> he has now look good. And I've been telling y'all that he wasn't good. Um, but Jordan Elliott didn't look good. Um, Alex Wright actually had a pretty good game. Um, and then Maurice Hurst and Ikea looked fairly decent. Um, Isaiah Thomas was like, eh. So just looking at that room and judging those guys as a whole, I do think that bringing in Shelby Harris will be nice and will be a great addition to this team and a well-needed addition to this team. Um, now let's go and talk about some schematic stuff. Um, so the first team unit that came out for defense, the defensive line is Double O, Zedarius, Dalvin, and Miles. So if they're going to permanently put Zedarius inside, do you guys feel like it's worth bringing in the Shelby Harris? I still feel like it is because it allows us to be very flexible because you bring in Shelby Harris. Now you can have Thomas and Harris, Miles, and uh, Zadarius outside, and you can rotate guys in. And then I either know that we're solving this problem by starting Zadarius, or um, well, it is going to be starting Zadarius, but moving Zadarius inside. I still think, just for a death piece scenario, it's still good to have another defensive tackle and a couple of more guys that could go out there and play football for you because they could give guys like Miles Garrett a breather, Zadarius a breather. You know, Miles Garrett can can sit out maybe a half a drive if double low and Zadarius is out there and then we got Shelby and Thomason, you know, and we rotating in guys like um Isaiah McGuire. We rotating in guys like Alex Wright. So I feel like uh, Maurice Hurst. I feel like that's a great death in room. I feel confident in Miles, Zadarius, Double O, Thomason. <clears throat> Throwing Shelby Harris in there with a mix of IKEA, Alex Wright, and Maurice Hurst. And that sounds like a good defensive type, defensive line, and um, that that sounds like a good one. Um, so that would be my biggest thing. Now you can have Shelby start. Um, now you're not now you're not relying on guys like Jordan Elliott to so promise, even though they never have. Or you're not relying on guys like um, you know Tommy Togi out to make this roster as the last person. That's why I feel like it's very promising and um, very good about bringing in Shelby Harris. Now, I know the Browns wouldn't sign him probably immediately just because, you know, he's 32 or we're about to be 32. And with him about to be 32, we probably don't want to go through another training camp. But he did come and visit the Browns. Um, I haven't heard about him visiting anybody else ever since then. Uh, so it's probably sounding like a good chance that they do go ahead and sign him. I think Andrew Berry should do make the deal and make the push for this. Um, now you guys know we do have other hoes on our roster. We got wide receiver, we got running back, and we got defensive tackle. So that's another thing to keep in mind when we're talking about signing in and bringing in guys. Do we feel like we need a running back? Do we need to go get another wide receiver off the street? Or do we want to go and solidify that defensive line? I think it's going to make more sense to solidify the defensive line. 
Um, Jerome Ford didn't play. Uh, we'll see what he looks like. Demetri Felton played, and he looks fairly decent. And John Kelly looks like a good running back four, um, a good running back three. So I don't have too much problems in that. Um, mind you, they're running behind a good offensive line. Uh, the wide receiver position, um, Marquise Godwin is not put down for the year. He's going to miss a couple of a couple of weeks due to them blood clots. But if he's okay to go, I really like what I see from Cedric Tillman. I wish I could have seen a lot more from David Bell in that game. Um, just because, you know, you want to see that. So then you know that those targets are caught up in that position and solidified. But we do now have a big body um, with Cedric Tillman. And as long as Marquise Goodwin can get back healthy, I think that wide receiver room will be okay and ready to go. So whatever brings me back to my original point. I think the Browns should go out there and go Shelby Harris, add another guy to his defensive tackle room. Um, you guys comment down below how y'all feel. Do you guys think we need another wide receiver? Do you guys feel like we need a another defensive tackle? Running back, what do you feel like is the most important position that the Browns and Andrew Berry should prioritize? Um, I just feel like it's the defensive tackle just because it, it allows guys to get breathers. It allows us to be flexible if one guy goes down. Um, it allows us to be a lot more versatile and we're able to move guys like Miles Garrett, move guys like Zadarius Smith, move guys like hopefully one day Alex Wright. Um, I feel like once we're able to do that, we create a lot of flexibility. And not to mind you, we still got great blisters in JOK, um, great blisters in Grant Delpit. So I feel like it's very promising uh, for this defense. And the secondary was already pretty much good. The Browns did have a good linebacker play yesterday. Uh, with Kumas, I, I can't say I do a name, but yeah. So you guys comment down below. Remember, we're doing a 1K giveaway. Uh, make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It's your boy, Will. This should be a double upload as long as my internet's not tripping. And I'm out. Peace.